Okay, everyone. Yes, I'm Dr. P.E. and I'm here at the Intel International Science Fair, and I've happened to stop and talk to some wonderful, some wonderful scientists from a high school in New York. And um, Ali Dar is doing some interesting research, so we're going to talk with Ali Dar for a second here and get him to tell us what he's doing. Hey, everyone. Um, I'm doing some really awesome work Hi. research with UV light and treating some really cool immune system diseases. Um, it's great upgrade on what they're using right now and it can really help save lives, so it's pretty awesome. Yeah, how does the uh, UV light help potentially? What do you, how do you think it works? The UV light actually <coughs> is able to control certain immune system cells and through controlling those cells you can control your immune response. And so in these diseases, the body attacks the cells and by controlling their response you can treat these diseases. So. I no one has ever looked at this before, so I'm right on the forefront of uh, technology. And are you hoping to continue looking into immune disease for, you know, years to come? What are you looking forward to? You're a junior in high school right now. What are your plans? I'm definitely looking to continue this at least next year. And uh, there's a lot of future experiments for me to do and to really find out about how this works and whether it will really be able to use for patients. And hopefully into college, too, and uh, future in science. So Excellent. plans for the future. Good plans for the future. Okay, so full name. Your uh, year in school or your age, and what high school you go to? Uh, my full name is Ali Darangwala. I go to the Albany Academies in Albany, New York, and I'm 17. Thank you very much. And Emma. Hi. Um, I looked into using tooth enamel microstructure to identify isolated teeth found at dig sites. And this technique is actually very good because it allows you to take out falsely named dinosaurs from the fossil record and attribute them to their true genus, which allows the fossil record to become much more clear and the evolutionary patterns to be much easier to see. Um, this technique is very relatively new. There's only about 30 articles out on it. Um, and most of these studies are focused on looking at evolutionary patterns as a whole across the dinosauria. And this is a study to actually focus in on one family. I looked at the raptors, so like Velociraptor and Deinonychus, and um, worked out much better than I was expecting. I showed that it's a genus-specific trait, so it's not just every individual has its own enamel. Every single, single genus has its own enamel. I managed to tell us apart every single one of my five genuses, and I was able to attribute two unknown genera to known genera based on similarities in their microstructure. So the enamel, you can actually characterize the like the molecular structure of the enamel, how it, how it fits together, and that's species specific? Well, or what it is, is the enamel crystallite. When it's laid down by these cells called amelioblasts, during ameliogenesis, the crystallites form these different patterns. Um, the type that I looked at was parallel crystallite enamel, which is just lined straight up and down in the enamel, and there are specific features that you can see, like unmineralized passages, there's lines sometimes, and you take the compilation of all of those, how well they're defined, whether they're present or not, and you put that together and exactly what the full enamel type of that species is. So I was able to do that for all five of my genera, and it worked out very well. What do you love about dinosaurs? Why dinosaurs? Well, since I was four years old, I have wanted to be a paleontologist because my dad took me to the American Museum of Natural History. And um, I've ever, ever since then, I've wanted to be a paleontologist. And it's just fascinating. My, they've, they're, I mean, ever since, I, I, the one thing that I really want to do, besides continuing working on an animal microstructure, is find this one dinosaur called Dinopyrus, or Terrible Ham. All that's ever been found of it was these huge arms with the four claw, the, the claw as long as your forearm. It's so fascinating, and I really want to find that one. Well, I wish you good luck, and you, so you're definitely you're headed that direction for your future, your yep. future goals to find the dinosaur. Oh yeah, I'm going <laughs> to the University of Pennsylvania next year. I'm majoring in paleobiology. I'm on my way. <laughs> awesome. Okay, full name, high school, and your age right now, please. My na full name is Emma Justine Hoffman. I go to Ronda Alley High School in Accord, New York, and I am 17. Thank you very much. Thank you. And this is just two, two of the students that are finalists here, and there's something like 1,600 people. This is amazing. I'm, I love it. I love it. I hope you're enjoying it, too. See you later.